Hi, I'm Dr. Padma Jalukiredi. I'm a hematology oncology and bone marrow transplant consultant at Apollo Cancer Center, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today, we're going to burst some myths on the topic called lymphoma and look at the facts. So lymphoma, is it uh, leukemia? Partially true. Lymphoma is a solid one. Oma means a solid. Leukemia means it's in the blood. Sometimes lymphomas can be in the blood in a leukemic phase, but most of the lymphomas are not leukemias and not in the blood, but they're in the bone marrow. But most of the layman terms, we call this, this is a type of a blood and lymphatic related cancer. So many people in a colloquial language call this as a leukemia, but in technical terms, lymphoma is slightly different from leukemia. It is a myth, they don't have the same type, though it is a broader category called a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. There are various different uh, subclassifications in it. There are some majority of the things, what you need to know is, is it a low-grade lymphoma or is it a high-grade lymphoma among the B lymphomas? Because the treatments completely vary from one to the other. And the basic fact is that high-grade meaning are rapidly progressing and they're potentially curable. Low-grade lymphomas you can treat. We know that it may come back again after a couple of years. So that's the big difference between the low-grade and the high-grade uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. And in the high-grade, there are different varieties. Some have got a life-threatening uh, features. They would rapidly progress, so they, needs to, they need to start treatment as soon as possible, like Burkitt's lymphoma. Uh, or a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is another high-grade lymphoma, which is the most common type of a B non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, it is a myth. Still, lymphoma is a type of a cancer. I wouldn't say you're lucky. Given a choice, many people say that among the cancers, if you're looking at a blood cancer and a lymphoma, perhaps lymphoma has got a less aggressive nature. It gives time. The treatments are a bit simpler than the leukemia. So it is not being lucky, but in fact, you have time to treat in most of the lymphomas. It is a myth. Uh, lymphoma can occur in any age group and leukemia can occur in any age group. Uh, again, the fact that the treatments will vary according to the age, what they can uh, tolerate. Elderly lymphomas are very bad uh, compared to the uh, uh, childhood uh, lymphomas. Uh, it is a myth. Lymphoma is not an inherited disorder. It comes as an acquired disorder which can happen due to various mutations in the lifetime. Uh, and we talk about a lot of exposures, viral infections like EBV which can trigger a lymphoma or a pesticide exposure. Many of the time in our patients we don't find any risk factors. They, they may just get it uh, without any other risk factors due to acquired mutation in the lifetime. I wouldn't say it is a myth, it is not a death sentence. Leukemia has got a treatment and a lot of patients are having treatment and having a cure from leukemia. And again, leukemia has got a various types. You have got acute leukemias and chronic leukemias, which means that acute are coming on very fast. Chronic means they are a bit long standing or slowly growing. And chronic leukemias, most of them have got outpatient treatment just by form of tablets. Acute leukemias certainly has got a risk to life because they have to start on a big doses of chemotherapy pretty quick and get the disease under control quite quickly. So it is not always a death sentence. Acute leukemias perhaps are life-threatening and needs to start treatment as soon as possible. It is a fact they can receive from relatives or from the unrelated donors. But the most important thing is they have to be a match. Uh, the match is called a HLA match. It is not just the blood group. We look at the white cells typing. It is called a human leukocyte antigen typing. It is a blood test where you would find. And we look at a 10 out of 10 being a donor. If we look at all the a patient to have a donor, all their siblings, there is a one in four chance they could be a full match that is 100% match. All their children or their parents, they all will be a 100% uh, 
uh, half much that is they carry one gene from the maternal side that the parents mother and the father so children will be a half match and unrelated by chance you would find there could be a 10 by 10 match but you have to search probably a lack of people to find one match it is not easy to find a match but we have a lot of registries to look for that uh, you can find donors in unrelated groups could be within India or it could be overseas there are times we get donors from German registry from European registries or American registries so all over the world you can look for a matching for you this is a big myth people think that cancer cells grow on sugar there was a, a article and a research article talking about cancer cells grow on the sugar but this is in the laboratory not in a human body yes in the laboratory for any bacteria or virus anything to grow you need a nutrient that's how the cancer cell is also growing but inside the body there are lots of lots of mechanisms it is not quite simple there are multiple regulatory mechanisms where the cancer cells grow and there are a lot of inhibitory factors if you deprive of sugar for somebody it's not just the cancer cell even the normal cells are going to get uh, defective so it is completely untrue by stop eating sugar you can cure the cancer we've now looked at uh, myths and what are the facts in lymphoma the most important thing for all the viewers to know early recognition of any cancer is the most important thing identifying if somebody has got a lumps underneath the neck or axilla or under the groin or they're having fevers they're having a big spleen or they had a new diagnosis of lymphoma find out what stage it is what treatment options you have and it's important to get not just the chemotherapy option it is about the long-term quality of life for that patient and preventing a relapse of the disease is also important so do look through all these issues every cancer could be treated perhaps be cured so early diagnosis and treatments are the best way to go for and do not fall for the myths and uh, you know succumb your health thank you